fortunate. That's how sure has played 173 games, won a premiership with the Magpies. Was on a roll with the Giants, 97 games. It came to an abrupt halt, Heater. Thanks for joining us tonight. How is the recovery going? Yeah, it's going along pretty slow um, at the moment, but um, yeah, it's it's on track to as it, as it is um, to be back probably running in that in about 10 or 12 weeks. So, um, Heater, was it a bit worse than you originally thought? Yeah, it was... Um, I originally thought it was just a medial. That's why after the game I thought I was a chance yeah. to come back and play um, this year. But when um, the surgeon got in there, found a little tear in the PCL as well. So that, that, that ruled out the season pretty quickly. That's the physical aspect. The reality is, you know, you're not there where you want to be tonight. And you were on that incredible run. Emotionally, how is that? Um, yeah, it was tough watching the first, so the last two games of the year when I, I wasn't playing because I just wasn't used to it. Um, I haven't had surgery before, so I'm not used to that. And... I don't get to play in front of the old team in an in elimination final um, tonight. So um, as disappointing as it is, it's still exciting to be involved in a footy club that's playing finals as well. Yeah. Heath, though, you have played on the biggest stage. You've starred in a grand final, in a premiership. Does that really compare, though, to the atmosphere of a spotless stadium in midwinter? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think the comparison's a little bit different there. Uh, but uh, we're gradually building. Like we got, We've got 25,000 members now. Um, and a fair few of them will be here tonight against the Collingwood Army. So um, it's going to be a cracking game and hopefully they can all get behind us. Hey, Hita, how do you go you know, getting these young blokes' uh, confidence up? I'm talking about Green, Shield, <laughs> Hopper, Cornelio, Cameron. It's a swagger factory at uh, GWS. Have you got to bring them down? Have you got to get them up? How do you, uh, as a senior man, get them ready for tonight? Well, mate, yeah, as you said, you don't, you don't need to get these guys up, especially... Um, Especially Toby, he loves the big stage, and, and I think guys around him, they, they thrive on when he's going well. The rest of the team um, lifts a little bit, and, and yeah, we've got a lot of talent, but talent doesn't get us to a preliminary final next week. We've got, we've got to work hard, and we've worked hard to get here. Um, we've got two more hours worth of work to try and get in a prelim. Peter, what's, uh, what's Toby like? He seems extremely confident in his ability, but he's a big-time player, isn't he? He's actually pretty quiet off the field. Yeah. Um, if you know him really well, like it takes a while for you to sort of get in his little bubble and get his trust. So um, he's a pretty quiet kid, but as you said, once he gets out yeah. there, that's his show. Um, he's ready to roll and he's ready to put on a big show and he loves the big stage. Last week was a prime example of it. Back off four or five weeks out, he's best on ground. Um, and no doubt he'll, he'll be living for tonight. You're a reasonable sledger, uh, Heater, if uh, memory serves me right. You don't <laughs> mind uh, dishing it out. Uh, have you given any ammo to uh, a few of your mates from the Giants, given you know the Magpies better than anyone else? Um, oh, no, I suppose. I haven't been there for five years now, so the, the list has changed over a fair bit. Um, and a few of our guys are pretty good on the lip as well. So I think I'll leave that to them. I've, um, I've had my fair share over the years, but... Um, no advice given this week. You were there when Nathan Buckley was just starting out as coach, and I've been really interested in learning about the evolution of Nathan Buckley. He's mellowed a bit more. When he started as senior coach at Collingwood, what was he like? He was just as intense as he was as a player. Um, I know when I played with him, you sort of stayed away from him before the games because he was really intense. Him and Tark and Lockyer, it was like try and keep away from those two. Um, but yeah, as you said, I think I think you have to uh, um, adjust to the scenery around you and. Um, you can't play the game before you get out there as a player, so the coach can't be seen to be doing the same thing. Um, players these days thrive when the coach is relaxed and having a bit of a laugh and a giggle before the game. So I think he's, he's adjusted to that and, and they're playing in an elimination final tonight. Now, Hita, our uh, footy formal photos uh, segment, actually, it was born out of your <laughs> yes. photo album. But we've this gone deeper than just your formal. Oh, I want you to explain geez. what is going on here. That is magnificent. I don't know where you get these from. Oh! <laughs> That's not too bad. That one's all right. I don't know what, what was happening tight then. Was that your first Holy Communion or something? I think like? it was. Right. Obviously, Mum didn't have too much um, dress sense back then. She's <laughs> really stuck me up there. The hair? It's really? not ideal. When did you break away from the middle <laughs> part? part um, <laughs> Hey, we love I don't it. know what was Did going I... on there. It's not ideal. Well, and we've actually <laughs> dived into a few of your teammates too, uh, and I want your thoughts on these. I think we might get a start here with uh, well, the kick footy formal photos, and I think it's Toby Green first up. Oh, well, great. it started with uh, Heath Shaw, and we decided uh, Matthew Richardson could jump yep. in. How about the gold come among a Richo? That is still a favourite. <laughs> oh! There is your teammate oh, Toby oh, Green. Not a great uh, representation. 
Brett Delidio not shooting the lights out either there, nope. JB. No, nope. <laughs> bit of rock siding. And the heater yeah. with a skunk on top of his head. <laughs> oh, but the, my poor date that night, I think she would have been embarrassed. That. <laughs> hey, yeah, this is almost your last week. Just send us your footy formal photos. You could win a $4,000 Harvey Norman voucher. Look at that. He hasn't, oh, yeah. He's matured pretty well, hasn't he? When you look at the hair does match the cravat, though. Oh, so that's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> hey, get involved. Send your footy formal photos at 7.com.au or via social media at 7AFL using the hashtag footy formals. Voting opens grand final week. Going to be very hard to get past. Uh, hey, Shaw, what's your role tonight? Hey, are you in the, in the coach's box? Have you got any formal role? Um, well, no formal role before. Just so I was just down the rooms with the boys, just having a bit of a muck around and making sure they're all relaxed. Usually have a chat to a couple of the running backs and make sure they know their roles and then I'll sit in the coach's box because it's a bit cold out sitting in the sand so I'm just going to sit in the coach's box tonight. So, so hey, last week was unbelievable. You'd be pretty confident coming here tonight as a group. Yeah, definitely. Um, even though like, last week we were confident going into the game, we didn't really expect it to pan out the way it did. Um, the boys played really well and um, dominated for most of the game, which was good. So we'll take a lot of confidence out of that, week, uh, that game into this week and um, travelling for us is not much of an issue. Yeah. Um, Opposition crowd against is not much of an issue, so I think I think the boys are ready for a big game. Hey, I loved your pressure last week too. I thought you were right up on Sydney. You're going to need to do that tonight. Yeah, definitely. And I think Collingwood's pressure is really good, so we've got to be able to absorb that as well. And um, it's going to be an intense first probably five or ten minutes, and the, the the team that settles probably first is probably going to be best off. You've actually turned uh, green and then purple in the time you've been here, Heater. Go and get yourself warm. Great to see you. We are going to get to a break when we come back. The teams are out. We're going to speak to both coaches as well. So do not go anywhere. New South